Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing some stamping on some panels and I'm going to be doing what I call spotlight stamping. And I've done this technique quite a few times. It's one of my favorite ways to kind of create a more simple card, but add a little bit of interest to it and to be able to mass produce a bunch of cards because we can easily stamp a bunch of panels at once. So for my design, I'm using the Bold Blossom stamp set, but you don't have to use this specific one. You don't even have to use flowers. You just wanna use a stamp set that you can put a bunch of different images onto the panel so that we can do some selective stamping and change up some colors. And then we're going to adhere a smaller panel over top. It probably doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but as I go on here, you're gonna see how I do this. And it's just gonna add a lot of interest to the card design. So I'm just arranging all of the flowers onto my panel here, and this panel measures four inches by five and a quarter. I want it to go onto an A2 size card base, but I wanna have a little bit of a border around the white panel, so I just cut it slightly smaller. So once I was happy with my flower placement, I'm going to pick everything up on my Misty door, and I'm gonna stamp this out with some grout gray ink. So I'm just gonna fully coat all of these stamps with this ink, and I'm gonna stamp that onto my panel. Now with any solid stamps, I usually like to stamp them at least twice to get a really nice solid impression. So I am going to do that here on these panels. I'm going to do sometimes double, sometimes even triple stamping just to get a really nice solid impression. And I find that with the grout gray ink, which is a lighter gray ink, the more you stamp it, you can kind of darken it up a bit. So I didn't want it quite as light as it can be. I wanted it to go a little bit darker, but not so dark that it really took over the card. So in this stamp set, there's only one leaf design. So once I stamped out the initial design, I removed all of the stamps from my Misty door, and then I reused one of the flowers and one of the leaf stamps so that I could fill up the panel a little bit more. And I am stamping this onto three separate panels. So when we're done, we're gonna have three cards in total. So you can see here, I'm just kind of pulling out that first panel, replacing it with the second one that I had done. And I'm gonna to continue to do this every time I do stamping, I'm always going to do it three times. Okay, so what I did here is I laid out some of the stamps directly onto the stamped panel and lined them up over top of where I had already stamped them. I wanna create three separate panels now with the exact same design, but I wanna be able to change up the colors. So by using that initial panel and laying the stamps over top, I know that I have these placed in the exact same position, but now I'm able to stamp them onto a separate panel and just stamp a couple of them at a time. So I'm gonna go through and I'm going to do this three times. For two of them, I'm going to use the Limelight ink. So I'm gonna stamp these out and do a double stamp once again to get a nice solid impression. And then for the third one, I'm gonna change it up and I'm going to use Summer Splash ink. And this is just going to allow me to create a little bit of a different look on all of the different cards. And then once I have this stamped out here, we have all three panels stamped with this first set of flowers and leaves. I'm gonna remove those from the Misty. I'm going to put the initial panel back into my Misty stamping tool, and I'm gonna pick out some of the additional stamps on the panel and line those up on top like we did with the first one. Once I have them all lined up, I'll remove that first panel. I'll go back into my three panels that we're doing the colored stamping on, and I'm going to stamp these one by one once again. So for the first two here, I did some pink stamping. This is Razzleberry ink. And then for the last one here, I decided to use Cornflower for a completely different look on this design. I really love the look of the limelight with the really dark Cornflower ink. I just love how they go together on a card. And at the end, we're gonna add purple in here, so it's gonna look really great together. So for the last set of stamping, I'm replacing all of the flowers left that we haven't used yet, and I'm gonna finish off the panel here with this purple ink, which is Wild Wisteria. Now you can do less colors, you can do more colors. It's completely optional, and that's what I love about a design like this, is that you can really modify it to whatever it is that you're trying to achieve with the look that you're stamping. So I did the purple stamping, I have all three panels done now, and you can see that we have the exact same design on all of those panels in color, and then we have the same design on the first three that we initially stamped, but just in grout gray ink. So this is where the spotlight stamping part comes in. What I wanna do is I wanna cut out a little section of the colored stamping that we've created. And for my three cards, I decided to change up the shape. So I'm gonna use a hexagon, a circle, and a square, and I'm just gonna take these and die cut them in my die cutting machine. And when I have them die cut, I'm gonna end up with three little panels here that have the exact same design as the grout gray ones we stamped, but we're gonna be able to layer these over top. My favorite thing about a design like this is I love that we have the pattern in the background, but then it continues right through that really bold little panel that we've created. And I love the faux stitching detail on all of the smaller pieces. I think it just adds even more to the overall design. So now I've picked out some matching cardstock colors here. I have Wild Wisteria, Summer Splash, and Limelight. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create kind of a little mat that I can put behind each of the 
spotlight panels. So for the circle one, I used a circle stacks die and cut one just slightly larger than the circle that we created. And then for the hexagon and the square, I'm just gonna freehand cut those ones. I don't wanna use the stacks dies the next size up from what I used to cut the initial panel because I want the mat around it to be a little bit smaller. So it's really quick and easy to create custom ones just with your scissors since they have straight edges. So I adhered the stamped panel directly to the cardstock piece, and then I'm adding this onto the card panel with some foam adhesive. This is just going to give it a little bit of dimension since it's a very simple card and we just have some simple stamping on the panel. And then like I mentioned, I'm just going to freehand cut the little matte pieces that we're going to add behind these ones. So I just adhered them once again to the cardstock, and then I just used my scissors to quickly go around the outside edges and trim those up. And then when you're adding them to the panel, you just kind of want to turn them and move them around until you have the patterns completely lined up. And you can see on the circle one there that I have already finished that the large flower, all the petals line up nicely, and then all of the leaves and everything else that kind of goes off the edge of there lines up with the panel as well as the background. So I'm just going to go ahead and add on the hexagon and the square. Once again, I'm using the same foam adhesive to add a little bit of dimension. And then once I have these little panels on here, the main panel is finished and we can add these to our card base. Now you can mix and match the colors if you wanted to kind of do the mat behind the panel one color and then the card base another color, but I decided to keep mine all the exact same. So I have the same color of cardstock behind the stamped piece as well as for the card base. Okay, so now that we have the cards finished, we just need to add our sentiments. So I have three different sentiments from the More Essential Sentiment stamp set. I'm stamping them onto black cardstock with Versamark ink, which is just a clear ink, and then I'm adding white embossing powder on top. I'm gonna go ahead and heat set those and die cut them with a little sentiment fishtail banner. And then I'm going to add them directly onto each of the little panels that we've die cut. So I just kind of cut them in different sizes and then just added one to each of the cards. And now we have our card set complete and you can see that we have this really great continuous pattern, but we've spotlighted some of the stamping by having that colored panel right in the center there. So I hope this gave you some ideas on ways that you can kind of create some really quick and easy stamped cards and create a bunch at once by doing all of the stamping at the same time. As always, I appreciate you being here for today's video. I hope to see you in another one soon. Thanks so much for watching.